Uh, just a few things to say about uh, nested types and generics. Um, this is fairly obvious, but uh, it's worth saying anyway. Um, uh, what we've got here is this uh, generic uh, class here with a type um, parameter e, and uh, inside of here is, uh, say, a static class, and as uh, for comparison, a non static class. All right, first of all, um, the uh, static in a class here um, is not associated, obviously, with any. Uh, instance of the enclosing class and uh, therefore because of that it can't use the type parameter e so uh, you can't use e inside of this static class here uh, by comparison of course with the non-static class non-static inner class here you can you can use e um, because it is um, associated with an instance of the enclosing class so there's no problem there right now when it comes down to um, using these two classes um, there's a difference again um, if we look at this example here uh, you'll see uh, there's no type parameter associated with GN it looks just like you're using the raw type when you refer to the static class uh, similarly here so you'll notice there's no um, there's no type parameter at all but when you're referring to the non-static class of course it's a different matter um, and there is a, a type parameter needed there or a parameterized type um, and you'll notice the uh, non-static of course in a class is associated with an instance of the enclosing class and so of course you've got to have a type parameter which is T in this case um, now if you leave that um, T off um, you won't get an error in fact you'll get a warning um, warning you that you're using the raw type so that's what happens if you leave that off you leave it off for effectively T as object in this particular case. If there was a bound here, if there was an upper bound, uh, T would effectively be the upper bound if you left that off. Now, um, the way I've shown it here, um, I've, uh, I'm, I'm uh, using a generic class with T. Um, that's because um, it may, of course, be a bit simpler to uh, use a generic method. Uh, but I haven't covered generic methods yet, so I'm doing it this way. Um, you note uh, you could actually specify parameterization here if you wanted to. So g of um, uh, g of string or something you could put in there and same there, and that would work as well. But I'm just being a bit more general. <laughs>